rolled in the next job this morning. We really don't know what we're getting into. Matt said hop in the skid steer and hang on. I think we're putting the septic in. We got the HX85A with us, so hang on, let's find out. Good news guys, with the pickup truck and the skid steer, we made it up there. It's gonna be tight. I really don't think there's room for this thing up there. This is a pretty good long ways to track it in. So uh, we're just gonna go for it. We are just gonna go for it. See what happens. Let's see if we can get this thing up there and unloaded. I'll kind of show you, kind of show you what we're getting into. We gotta put a septic in for a new uh, mobile home. And it's a really tight, really, really tight lot. We got, inches to play with to uh, make this work and uh, kind of glad we got the uh, HX 85A it's gonna be a pretty good fit for this job but I don't think I could have got one of the bigger machines in here and it's a little too big a job for the 304 so should be a good fit let's see if we can see if we can wiggle up in there without too much issue definitely won't be getting the Mac in this job I'll tell you that much made it in the question is can we make it out later all right mr millennial what is the plan sir well number one it's nya millennial exactly just what i said the plan is we have four corners for a presby field bed and obviously we're gonna get here some gunshots today. I feel like we should start ducking <laughs> yeah we've got a, a presby system installed for a two-bedroom home we're gonna put the septic tank over there by the little hummingbird stand so okay. we've got good downward fall to the field bed basically gonna be a gravity flow system gravity flow system uh top corner is up there by the yeah these hummingbird. are these aren't marked real well guys here so kind of hard to see but basically this system here we're always limited on our depth on these this this system here we actually got a limiting layer that's pretty high so we can go uh we're basically gonna dig 20 inches deep correct we have a water table that's pretty high okay yep water table's high limiting layer is non-existent so we're going to go 20 inches deep and it's a 20 foot in width by 42 foot in length bed and yes the tree has to go <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> let's uh let's demo the tree we'll lay out the bed so basically what we're going to do is uh, we'll excavate the bed out 20 inches deep put in six inches of sand down lay all of our pipe in layer this thing in here like a sandwich presto end of the day hopefully we got a septic system i'm gonna take a tree down let's take her down And she's over. Now to get the roots out. down check out the little work brow thumb in action there we're gonna get it trucked off to the side here I've got a corner where my beds i need to miss dodge that real quick easy now 
We'll set it off down to the side over here and then we'll kind of get set up for digging on our bed. That should be out of the way for now. Good. 20 minus a quarter. Yep. Hold so four finger. foot, two and three quarter. You guys sure that's right? Huh? <laughs> I took my shoes off. I know, you got past 10. All right, guys, so here's what we normally don't do this, but I can't be here for the entire dig, so I'm trying to get these guys set up so they're good to go. So we actually took the time this morning, and the laser has got these sights on top of it right here. And that's the sight line. We ran that sight line parallel with the top of our bed, and then we used the slope option. This is a single axis slope laser. We used the slope option, and we basically tilted that head inside there, and we got that laser at the same slope grade as our uh, as our bed. I do have a whole video on how to set the uh, set the slope on that. So in theory, this bed is going to be dug on a slope, and no matter where we put that laser right in that slope, it should tell us whether or not we are on grade. So uh, 20 inches deep. You ready to dig? 20 inches deep. Let's, uh, let's dig some dirt. This is another one of those scenarios. The uh, reach on this Hyundai is absolutely, it's 20 feet across the bed. We've got our pin out. Am I coming straight towards it? Well, it's underneath of you, ain't it? I think it is. I may have ran it over. It's 20 feet across this bed. <laughs> you good to go over there, huh, bud? I got my power. Bring the Glad you're all good. But anyways, the reach on this Hyundai is incredible. I mean, being able to reach across this bed, just this is this is this man. This is a good uh, good machine for this particular job right here. Glad we got it. For things here. Looks good and dry so far, don't it? You good? Good deal. It probably works better because it's got my initials welded in it. Hey, that's very cool. That's the you do. How's your slope coming this way, Matt? Yeah. Hyundai digs nice. I am putting the stick out of your reach, but that doesn't mean you won't break it.
Okay. Man, that was loud. Gosh. Here's the, here's the deal, boys. We need sand. And you're the only one with CDL. And, and amongst the three of us, there's only one of us with a CDL. So that means I'm going to have to hand the keys over to yeah, the beautiful... keep it that way for a reason, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is not a good time to be negotiating. So, I'm hoping whenever I come back with a load of sand, you two, I got faith in you, mm -hmm. will have this excavated out and ready for sand. Yeah. I'm where, back. Are you, where are you going to get sand at? <laughs> not Memphis. <laughs> Darn it. Pretty close to it. <laughs> so... But, uh, all right, I'm going to leave you two at it. I got faith in you. I think between the two of you, you can figure it out. I agree. And okay, uh, Are you back with sand yet? Nope, I'm on my way, though. So, should the question is, do I leave the camera with you or not? What's more important, your truck driving or us digging this hole? I think this is going to be more entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> what? Where's the record button at again? <laughs> <laughs> all right, everybody, it's just me and Aaron. Mike going to get sand. He's explained what we're doing and all those good key factors. Aaron, you ready? I was running yesterday, bud. Hey, man, at some point, I think you may call and see if we can get a septic tank delivered tomorrow mid-morning would be ideal. Yeah, I was going to call at lunch today. Here we go. All right, everybody, we're going to wait on this process. We're going to call about a tank first. Mr. DP wants uh, wants to make that priority. So can't dig and talk on the phone. Give us a minute. Now, as Mike stated, he's concerned that we're not going to have this dug out all the way, and rightfully so, because I am nowhere near as good of an operator as Mike is. And this machine is so tight and sound and accurate with movements on the joysticks that uh, I'm a little jerky with it so we're gonna hog it out to the best of our abilities that's what we are gonna do I just hear a lot of solid beeping going on out there. I'm holding it off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it's looking pretty good. Uh, all we got to do right back in here is press that loose stuff up and fell over. And uh, uh, I'm going to put the great stick down. That's usually what I do for DP, so I probably don't need it anymore. Yeah, I don't know if I'd go that far with it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get this cleaned up. Just before that section, you said something about that one there where your grade rod is. It's what? It's pretty close to perfect. I think a minute ago you left the pretty close out, huh? I did. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. We're getting it pretty close here. <clears throat> we're holding within uh, roughly a quarter to a half of an inch across all of this, so it's coming out pretty good. 
right, everybody, we're about to the halfway point here. One thing that uh, Aaron did make note of is I keep throwing extra dirt back into my ditch after we get it to grade, so what I'm going to try, I've watched DP a lot, but sometimes it's hard to learn just by watching someone, but what I'm going to try is to uh, take it close to grade, a little bit further away from my grade. So, for example, right in there where we're at, we're about six inches high. I'm going to keep going to track forward a little bit here, hog out all the way to the high side so that all my chafe, my extra dirt lands on that high spot, but I knock out this hard and get some of the extra fluff out of there a little bit further to the left so when I go back and get it to grade, I won't have as much fluff to deal with. That's my thought process, that's my hope. everybody so taking that hard high side out further is working a lot better to get that grade and keep that grade consistent so we've left it a little bit high right here on this side and I'm gonna take some more of this out and work towards that outside pin which is uh, right over there I think is where it's at I think you can see it on the camera I tip my finger there so we're gonna hog out some more here a little short there. That's all right. We'll get it on the next pass. everybody we're getting close to the two outside corners here you see that corner stake over there so we're going to go ahead and hog it out all the way to the corner and then we'll come back and we'll get this last little corner to grade and then we got to jump down about two foot and finish out the bottom of the field bed. You guys didn't get along too bad without me. Well, we did all right. We're on grade. <laughs> <laughs> it don't count out here. <laughs> the real question is, did you miss me or are you glad I'm back? Is there not a lot of sand to get? <laughs> <laughs> You're stuck with me. All right, let's finish getting this dirt out of here. All right, guys, getting the last little corner of the bed dug out here. You may be able to see over in the corner. Matt's got the uh, skid steer fired up. He went ahead and started packing some of the uh, sand in here. Me and, me and Aaron were taking bets whether or not he's going to hit the trailer. Sure hope he don't. But we are getting it. We are getting close. We get to uh, get this all excavated out. We will hop around and uh, start raking the sand out. We got to put a six inch sand bed at the bottom of this. And then from there, we'll go into laying some pipe. there just to get this corner cleaned out on them.
we need to do now, Aaron, is move that laser indicator down the stick six inches. That'll give us the top of our sand. Does that make sense? Correct. So here's kind of the play, guys. You will notice the bottom of that hole is kind of rough and scratched with the teeth. That is by design. That's the way we want it. We want to keep that dirt fluffed up as most as much as possible because the whole point is that for it to absorb water. Uh, if you compact it or seal it off or smear it, they call it, it will not be near as effective as what it is in the in the shape it is now. Gray definitely needs to be close, uh, but it don't have to be perfect. It, it's it's more important that it's kind of roughed up and fluffed like that. So what we need to do now is in this hole is we need to get at least a minimum of six inch layer of sand in there. Uh, Matt's already started dumping some sand in here for us, so we'll hop in the machine and start spreading that out. And uh, this, this sand does need to be spot on on grade because our actual pipes will lay on them. All right, let's see how good we are spreading this sand around. Man, the reach of this machine just never ceases to amaze me. Look at that. Incredible. Love it. Leveling out the six inch sand bed for the Presby system. Mike takes all this sand and gets it pretty close and then Aaron and I are gonna fine tune it, right Aaron? Yep. What I've been doing all day with you two. Fine tuning? Yep. We appreciate both of you. Up. Aaron, you're doing a great job. I just wanted to make sure you heard that today. I appreciate that. You're I welcome. Uh-huh. I really don't care what he says. <laughs> That sand is not perfect, sir. Oh, oh what happened there? That sand is perfect, sir. Oh. <laughs> hey, why didn't you think about bringing in concrete rakes? It's it spread sand a lot easier. Yeah, well, that's a great question. Uh, I think I reminded this awesome A plus crew I got. I just need to get three things. Two concrete rakes and one GoPro. Why you remember the GoPro? We remember the concrete rakes. We just put them on the wrong white truck. And somebody was screaming and hollering about uh, his people. And we forgot them concrete rakes on the other white truck. We had the right color truck. Okay. got everything I could with the excavator. Aaron's coming in here now, the skid steer. We got a few spots like right there, it's a little bit low. Got to drop a little sand in there with the skid steer. And then we'll finish, uh, I think you pretty much probably put it. Ah, that's good right there, Aaron, that's good. I don't know if you can move down a bucket with, but that's where we need it. All right. And new tracks, 
work so much better. You don't realize how wore out the old ones were until you get new ones on. Beautiful thing, beautiful thing. All right, let's get this drink down. There she is in all of our glory. We got our sand bed laid down. We got all of our Presby pipes laid out. So what we now need to do at this point is uh, this is one thing I don't like about these, this system is this couple they got. They got kind of a cheap little tab on them. But basically we need to join all these pipes together and then these will also get covered with sand. So uh, putting couplers on is pretty boring and non-eventful. So uh, we'll let you guys uh, skip that part. Got all our pipes laid out, man, behind the scenes. I'm learning something new every day. I was going to say, do you, you know, know what's next? No, no, I don't know. I'm taking it step by step here. All I right. have been on one of these, but I didn't do much. <laughs> I was just There's this guy on the internet post a few videos installing these. Y'all try watching a few. Maybe. There is. There is one thing you did at the hey! last job. You did capture the tree get hit by the skid steer. So I was proud of you with what effort you Week put in Week after he that. ran over the uh, laser box. box. Yeah. Why are you guys bringing up old all stuff? Right. <laughs> all right, so here's what we got. We got all our pipes light. It is very important that the uh, the little fin on top goes up. The pipe has a diaper in it. It goes down. They have to be a foot off the edge of the bed here and here. This will be our intake. And that pipe needs to be perfectly on grade all the way across. You notice our gap may change just a little bit. That is to ensure that we keep that pipe right on grade. It's pretty doggone close. They need to be basically six inches apart, which puts them about a foot center to center. That's what we got these pipes for. And at this point, we have got to get six inches of sand over top of this thing. So I'm going to uh, grab the skid steer. I'm going to try the skid steer, the new tracks, grab some sand, and we'll start shaking it out across there. You ready? And I'm going to use the new laser. We did get a new laser. It's awesome. Man. new supported bucket, too. I yeah, new everywhere. We got the new new tracks, the new Hyundai. Nice laser box that ain't crushed. <laughs> yeah, job's not over yet. <laughs> it is crazy. This thing rides so different with these uh, newer tracks on it. Check this out. Aaron cleaned the windows. We can actually see outside. That's nice as all. Well. Nice as well. All right. Well, that's the horn. Hold on. Get us some sand here. All right, we got a tight spot we got to get into here. The last thing I want to do is drop that sand in there and spread these pipes around. So we're going to try to go nice and easy and just shake a little bit in there. Yeah, let me go get uh, another one. I think that's enough to hold it in place right there.
That's going to work out rather nicely, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to work out really good. Uh, do you want to fill that and up before I pull that board, or do you uh, want me to go ahead and move the spacer? Go ahead and move the spacer closest to the end, to the splice, but leave the one that's still in the middle. All right, now, on the splice, do I stay on this row, or do I jump across to the next section of pipe? Jump on across. All right, 10 more. over the top yeah we're, we're uh at about five but by the time we rake that down and uh you're gonna have to dig that end out but uh <laughs> i told him not to do it i always tell him just leave the caps exposed and put an extra tall on us rake it over yeah oh well that'll work that's what i try to tell him too yeah we try to tell a lot it's not but like here i'm gonna tell him I just want a perfect six inches right across the top, yeah, which would be real easy. And I, I guarantee you he won't do it. He'll either dump it on a big pile on one end or the other. Don't hit that grade rod, smash. Yeah, <laughs> yep. He was smiling when he done that, not just oh, so you know, yeah. get just a perfect uh, six inches all the way across, I wouldn't have to do anything. I can do a bit of that, but I have to work out that window a little bit. Hey, you get, man, you look good with them clean windows. Okay, you want clean windows, clean glass doors, 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 All I heard was I like this thing. I didn't hear the rest of that. <laughs> now he likes the Kubota. Yep. Yep. In love with it. Yeah. You know? Hey. <laughs> Sometimes. Yeah. Oh boy. What's great is he puts a big show on video, but when the camera's off, he will say a lot of times how much he enjoys that Kubota. Every you know time. it? Uh, Every time. He wants to act all macho on camera, but then off camera, he's like, oh man, that thing did a great job today. Boy, I wish they'd call me. You know, I'd really help them out and market their stuff. Yeah. That's why we're here. Yep. You guys are going to spend so much time talking amongst yourself. You're going to have that space to move down by the time I got back. Shoot. I thought you wanted to get the six inch cover all the way across the top before we pull that. All right, I got to set the camera down. His people just got me in trouble. <laughs>
So this is what she's gonna look like at the end of the day. We got all the pipes in, got all of our connections in, got all of our sand on. That bed turned out absolutely beautiful for kind of tight quarters here. I don't know if I mentioned before, but we're like uh, allowed to be 10 feet off the property line. We're like 10 foot four. We're allowed to be 10 foot off the house. We're like 10 foot six. So we, we just barely, barely snuck, to, snuck it in here. Obviously we can't cross the property line and play on the neighbor's property. And we definitely don't want to hit the trailer and damage it. So, but uh, we got her. So this is where she's going to stay at tonight. We'll be back tomorrow. We'll get this covered. We have to run an interceptor drain and we got to get a hole dug for the tank. So stay tuned for that. Ta-da! All right, guys, we are back for day two on this. I apologize if yesterday was a little bit of a scramble day. It was, uh, there was just a lot going on. It was, uh, it was a normal, normal crazy day. So here, just to kind of recap everything, we got the bed excavated out yesterday, got six inches of sand down. We got our pipes covered, pipes placed, six inches of sand on them's covered. And we did actually end up getting the inspection on the bed yesterday. No issues with that. That all went really well. So now we got to put in what they call the interceptor or diverter drain. It has to be 36 inches lower than the bottom of the bed, which is going to put us right around five feet. I had the Hyundai machine here with a two foot bucket. So we went ahead and dug this section. This section will just get backfilled with dirt. So it's not that big a deal. We did bring in the 304 to dig along the top side of the bed because that side has to get filled with sand. We don't want to waste a whole bunch of sand. I do not have a one foot bucket from the Hyundai, but this will give us a chance to give us a pretty good comparison, uh, digging with the two machines and see how, see how that goes. So basically what the plan is, is to get this pipe laid, get the bed covered. And uh, we're so tight on this job. We got to get all this done and get all this cleaned up so we can then get the tank delivered because there's too much stuff sitting in the way to get the tank in here right now. So. Uh, and unfortunately we can't get a tank delivery late this afternoon. It'll probably have to be uh, last thing tomorrow. So anyways, let's see. Uh, you ready to start digging? I'm ready. You look ready. I'm having a better day than you guys. <laughs> hey, I got the Jeep out today. You do have a Jeep out today. It's not fair. It's just not fair. Man, oh man, we are back in the old, uh, <laughs> the old 304. This thing, it has been a long time since I ran this thing. This thing, this thing feels weird, man. Hey, y'all ain't weird that whole thing. It definitely don't have the reach of the cold AC like the other one. <laughs> hey, but it also has new tracks. This is true. This is what I was going to talk about how to do this in phases. I have nowhere to go with the dirt out of this uh, diverter drain except on top of the field bed. So that's why we wanted to get the field bed done and get it inspected. So as I dig this trench, we're kind of inadvertently going to uh, cover up the, uh, watch out bit, but cover up the field bed, kind of do some backfill on it. Because this section of it has to get, uh, this section has to get filled with sand. Point something out that shows up really good on this machine real quick there we put the thumb on the hyundai a lot of you guys are commenting about how i needed four tines on it not two tines on it you gotta remember some sticky dirt you gotta remember not all applications need four tines and this is a perfect example if that was a machine was being used by a utility contractor and they had a one foot bucket on it look how that thumb fits that thumb barely fits in that ditch if I had four tines across there, and this thumb here is not as good as that one as far as visibility, you have very little visibility down the ditch and not only would have, not only would have fit, and especially if you had to pick something up down there. So land clearing and, and demolition and stuff like that, the, th the four tines are great, especially with the wider buckets. But you get into utility trenches like what we're doing here, and the, the smaller thumbs with two tines work a lot better. So. I guess the saying of the moral of the story is there's a there's a thumb for everything. What would be really nice is if you had a two-time thumb, you could bolt four times on if you wanted to. And I think Workbrow may be working on something like that, but have to stay tuned to find out. 
All right, guys, we got our diverted drain in. It's dug. It's to depth. Aaron's bringing us some sand. We're going to get it backfilled with sand all the way up. It just has to be backfilled with sand here on the top side of the bed. Matt's over there. He's got his, uh, he got his brain smoking. He's trying to do some math, trying to figure out our tank elevation. And then uh, I think we're going to dig the tank next because this dirt coming out of the tank is pretty nasty. We'll use it for some fill down there on the bottom side of the bed. Then that dirt we dug off the top yesterday will bring back over top of everything and uh, fill her up. So she'll be... Uh, have some good good grass growing dirt on top and let me tell you the more i operate this thing the more i think i like the like the hyundai aaron's bringing me some sand up here he can't quite get it all in the trench but uh we can get her kind of scooched over there for him with a little mini excavator here should be in good shape look at that perfect Too much, a little not enough. Gonna go to the AC. You got a switch on his face. Oh. <laughs> I'll take the torture box. You can go Good. set the AC. Goodbye, old friend. I didn't miss. <laughs> Where's it at? Look at this, Aaron. You know, hey Matt, you get the one with no AC. <laughs> I'm gonna go set the one with AC. Hello, new friend. How are you doing? Oh man. Great job, man, behind the scenes. Great job. You're doing great. Life is good. Thank you, boss. Those two are over there getting along great. Getting the diverter drain filled in. I'm back in the Hyundai. I do have the windows open because it's a semi nice day. They got cold AC on the neck. Life is good. Look at the reach, man. I just, I know I keep saying that reach is incredible. Like I'm pulled up too close. So, anyways, what we're getting ready to do here. Because we're going to go ahead and dig the hole for the septic tank and get that done. Because uh, I want to use some of this dirt. Some of this dirt coming out here is probably not going to be the best. But I want to use some of that to backfill on top of that septic bed. Right down there like so. Oh, yeah, he's got a good start on this for you. That's a beautiful wait, look. Wait a minute. Aaron, what did he just say? He said, all right, A team, I've almost <laughs> got this ready for you. Or I got a pretty good start or something. I'm I was doing calculations on my phone. <laughs> Same thing I heard. All right, so here's the plan. I'm going to leave, leave these two to finish up that hole because I'm going to hop on the skid steer. I've got the diverter drain all full. What I want to do, and the whole purpose of digging this hole first, is some of this dirt. It's not a good, not as good a dirt, but we can use it to fill in the backside of the toe of this slope and bring that better dirt up on top of it. So while they're finishing up that, I'm going to hop in the, uh, I'm going to hop in the Kubota and uh, start getting that covered up.
So boys, how'd your hole digging go? There's a hole in the ground. You guys don't look well, very there, confident. Been an eighth of an inch. Pretty close to that. So we don't even need to put sand in the bottom of it? We want sand in the bottom of it for the buffer, remember? Did we you don't say eighth of an inch or eight inches. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Don't bury me in the hole. We know which one now. So is that the operator's fault or the grade rod operator's fault? <laughs> grade rod operator. Yeah. It's always the grade rod operator at <laughs> the hole in the right depth. All right, so we're these guys got this hole it don't look too bad it's a little rough in some spots but i don't think it's anything a little sand won't fix you guys seen the time lapse i got uh, most of the grade roughed in on this that shovel is marking our inlet so i think what we're going to do is shake a little sand in the hole for those guys throw the pyrex on and go ahead and get as much of this cleaned up as we can and it's going to be a waiting game for our tank to show up
Like that looks pretty good, boys. What do you think? Night and day difference. Let's throw some straw on it. Just like magic, the straw has appeared. So guys, that's gonna be it for today. I wish we had a tank. It's like two o'clock in the afternoon. If we had a tank, we'd be out of here in an hour. Yeah, tank wasn't available though. But tank wasn't available, but the hole is ready to accept. Boy, that sounded a little not. <laughs> <laughs> Take that however you want. <laughs> so, but uh, anyways, so tomorrow we'll uh, get back in here. Hopefully we can get, I'm hoping we can get the truck snuck in on the back side of the trailer. If not, we got some marks where he can and can't drive. We'll come right down through here and get tank in, got a little pipe in. Easy peasy, we'll be done. So, unfortunately, stay tuned again to tomorrow. All right, guys, we are back for the next day. We have got lucky this morning. We have dodged rain north, south, east, and west so far. Nothing has hit us yet, but our tank has arrived. Hopefully, we can get her down the hole and get the truck out of here, but we do get rain. We're going to try to bring her in here on the back side here once and see what happens. We asked them to bring the smaller truck, which should make our life a little bit easier. Even if he's just over the corner there, he'll be all right. Uh, no, that one there needs to be squared up on. Second. Needs to cut her hard. Right against the trailer? Right against the trailer, yep. Right. Cut as hard as you can and take your ass. Yep, straight. Straight back. Straight back. Straight back. He's looking good. Maybe cut a little bit. To the right? Yep. Just a little to the right. Is that good? Uh, that, that'll work. Right that'll there. work. All right, guys there it is we got the uh, pipe in everything to uh, grade got a nice slope on it gonna bed everything in sand filling around the tank with sand the plumber is actually going from the tank to the house i'm running low on sd card so guess what we're gonna have to do this one the easy way there it is guys all seated strolled tank installed bed done tight little lot but everything went pretty good that uh, hx 85a was uh definitely the ticket for the bed over there i wish i had a one foot bucket for it. we could have done everything with it but uh we got her we got her machines work good everything worked good we're about an hour ahead of beating the weather so that's good boys are loading down we're heading out catch you guys on the next one hope you enjoyed don't forget to like subscribe and comment and we'll see you then